Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier, with Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Hmm. Revelio. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Well, hopefully we I can wish help you her well. out. Where's the uncle at? Is he outside? Dear Annie, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. Hope you're feeling better. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. 
You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. This guy. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. This dude ain't happy. Rebellion. Before we talk to Sebastian, let's kind of get a look around real quick. What's at the well, I think, here? The well on Feldcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during a great drought. Sadly, many perished as, as a result, including at least one young boy whose father refused to speak for years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used a never-before-seen powerful magic to restore water to the region. I wonder if that's the, uh, what's his name? The guy we did the trial for. Can we pick this lock? What's his level at? Level two? Not yet. What's the Duke Gladwell? Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I don't know. He was out of line. He's trying to do what's right. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. I'll Come with you, me. Dude. I need to show you where it happened. I'm down. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Let's, let's, let's whoop these dudes. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. Who's that? Yeah. That was sweet. Okay, what was the other challenge? I had to steal his crossbow. Um, do I have what what spells do I have? Expelliarmus. Disarms wines and weapons from most enemies who wield them. So we're gonna have to do this and put it here. Then this one here. Okay. I wanna collect this actually. I thought he has a crossbow. I will make I won't rest. You've made your last mistake. Okay. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Akio, you're a human to worry about. 
Couldn't bring those. No! Not quiet enough. Fighting over here? Oh, jeez. Couldn't bring those. Yeah! I confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you. Dude, I ain't nervous. Where's this guy's crossbow, though? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? So we're gonna search this area for clues. Revelio. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Hmm. But that's all I ever yeah. heard. Just New hat. Can I? Well, that was weird. I'm kind of stuck in here. Revelio. Okay, nothing. I hear something back in here. Huh. Okay. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Okay. Rebellion. Anything really? Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Let's go back over here. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Okay. Revelio. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. Okay. This well looks familiar. It 
Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Hmm. Is it in a painting or something that we're recognizing it from? Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at Ooh. this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Oh, what's my other spell? Depulsa. There we go. Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Oh boy, let's put some fighting spells back on here. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. What's up with that vine? It's got its own, like... It's a journal. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of my own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I'll just stop one second. If you want to read it, you guys can pause. Actually, I'll just read it. <laughs> I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal. I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a uh, fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Accio. Any other ones? I don't think so. Incendio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Revelio! These vines are creepy. Incendio! Accio! Weird. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. 
I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic? What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Confrigo, mm -mm -mm. what do we want? Uh, Leviosa. Okay. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. This looks like a compass here. These are those port keys, those signs that we keep seeing. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Can we trust them? I think we can. I think we can trust him. Rebellion. Do we have any more? We have collections. What's in here? Oh, this is. I don't want collections. I want to challenge this. And then we have, I think, combat. We have some things we can collect. Some rewards we can collect. All right. Okay. Well, I thought I... Oh, I got more rewards to collect. Jeez, I didn't even see these. I've, I've been missing all these cool rewards. Jeez. Awesome. All 
right, let's let's get our other. Sweet. Exploration. These um, are really cool, some of the outfits. Let's see what we got. Ooh, room requirement? I got another thing. I oh, know. Okay. All right, we cleared everything. Do we have any... We got talents. Let's invest some talents. Obviously not in the dark arts. What is core? We got one more to get the core. Wiggle well heals you to a greater effect. Stealth. Let's invest a talent into that. Okay. Now let's take a look at our gear. We got a couple things. I'm not sure why inventory what it wants me to do, but I guess we could just clear these all out. We got some new, new stiff. Just kind of clearing everything out, everybody. Sorry about that. I just wanted to see. Oh, we got all these different collections. So that just kind of shows you what you've found throughout the map. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's switch our gear up a little bit and see what we got. I know we got some handware, so we're going to make these. We're going to like how those look, so it changes the appearance. Put red ones on. We got a new hat here. Let's take a look. Ooh. Both this, this one. All right, we'll rock that one. And I think that is about it as far as we got different appearances. That was on the face, face wear. Oh, we got like this kind of mass thing right here. What? That's kind of crazy looking. Any new cloaks? Nothing. Okay. And outfits? Anything? Oops. Did the wrong item there. Wanted to do appearance. Oh, what the? I'm kind of liking it. I'm going to run it. <laughs> do we have any wand handles? I, oh, uh, hmm. nothing much. Okay, let's see what quest we're gonna pick up on now. Professor Sharp's assignment two. So we could do this: acquire and use an invisibility potion, acquire and use a thunder brew potion against enemies. So we could do that. His that's his number two. We could also um, do. The man behind the moons, we could track this quest and unlock um, level two unlocks. So we could do that or um, what's this? Descendio cast a on a levitated enemy. We could do that real quick. So let's track that quest. Let's just go find an enemy. Depulsion. And we'll cast it on a Meet me near the enemy. ruins of Falbottom Castle. We could do that one too. Actually, let's switch over. Let's do this main quest here. We'll go do this After one. Duck. Do not tell anyone. Oh boy. Oh boy. So where does she want us to meet her at? We could fast travel there. tracking that and we'll fast travel it doesn't matter it matters to me oh you sound offended what did i miss i simply said that it was unusual for a ravenclaw to have such little wit nothing offensive at all oh i see I should say one who doesn't find that offensive is clearly lacking intelligence. Also unusual for a Ravenclaw. Righty. Ugh. 
Life seems rather dull in the hamlets around here. London. Rebellion. Is this a lockpick? Oh, it's a one. Sweet. Hello, Hamora. We can't pass up a level one lockpick. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, right at the back. Alright. Rebellion. A little bit of money. Dear Professor Shah, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anom anomalies. It may be a perfect addition to an atlas I am hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission on any of its related research in the publication. Best wishes, MPN Carnerius. So, got a chest here. Hello, Hamora. Oh, got another one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There? Okay. There'd be something good. What do we got? Duelist attire. Cool. Revelio. Another chest here. Oh, not, that's bad for fine here. Oh, and a little kitty. Mm, that's awesome. Cute cat. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can't pass up on a level one lock. That's awesome. This is a good room. Good room. I'm happy with it. Rebellion. That's really cool too. Right by the room of requirement. I love it. There's nearly headless Nick. Was it? I don't know if it was actually. Can you do anything to these? Like can I? Akio. Don't do nothing to him. <laughs> okay. Revelio. We haven't been up here. Astronomy. It's not even magic. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Just want to look around real quick, guys. While we're in this area, I haven't been up here, so I'm curious to see. I don't think I've been in this tower yet, so yeah. Um Revelio. Chest up here, cool. Ooh, cold trim. Okay, cool. Oh, there's peeves! Where'd he go? Mm, that's awesome. Oh what a what a view. Cool if you could use the telescope. This is cool. Revelio. I heard that. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars, and anything else one might find in the night sky. This is cool. We are first time being up here. Revelio. Really cool. It's down here. Another chest here. 
Okay. Oh, it's a pensive. Is that a pensive? No. I think it is. Huh. I, I guess I don't have a use for it. Okay. Well, we looked around, found some cool stuff, and let's go back and start a quest. Well, if you queasy that, you might not want to watch me run around that. Because <laughs> that looks like it would make somebody dizzy if they were got dizzy easy. Okay. Um, let's make one the quest. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm. It's a little mysterious, but let's go. Oh, it's in that storage room. Oops. Isn't it? Here. Cool. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. 
But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. All right, so we got to find Amit on the lower deck. <clears throat> oh, there he is. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Uh. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. <laughs> here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Can we... Back here. Rebellion. Cage bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. That's pretty funny. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. I'm with you, Amit. I'm just like you. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Well, that was a weird ending to the conversation. Oh, so we're supposed to kind of... Rebellion. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders are thinking about? Oh no, not this close to school. I mean, look, there's the table. Rebellion. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view.
As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, I see. Let's see how we do it here. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You're welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Cool. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. Rebellion. Oh, I'd like to knock out a couple. So, yeah, you see we have a main quest here. Um, oops. I think it's locked. So we do have to do... Um, I need to complete Professor Garlic's assignment before I can continue past this quest. Okay, reach level 17. You must learn Wingardium Levioso before you start this quest. Okay, so Professor Garlic's assignment one. We need to do this. Acquire and use a Venomous Tentacula. I think we actually just have one of these, so we could actually just use this thing. Assignment tool finished. Attend herb herbology class during the day. Okay, so what we'll do is that we will... Change the time of the day here and go to our biology class. So it was easy. That was the easy side quest. <laughs> the easiest side quest I've ever had to do. So let's go to our biology class. Ch -ch -ch. Oops. Let's open the map up here and do our Hogwarts map. And herbology class is here. I think we have a fast travel in this location as well. Or near it, rather. Central Hall. Okay. Alright, let's attend herbology class. Oh, it's like <laughs> Halloween season. Sweet. Oh, he got a holler. Acceptable in transfiguration. No child of mine should. I want to hear it. Oh, it went away. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Good thing, Professor. I'm going to have my own test. <laughs> I've already decided that Jude's my favorite planet. <laughs> She's talking about astronomy. Rebellion. <gasps> Did I miss something? Like, oh, wow, that's insanely obvious there. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted this is school's dungeon. That's awesome. Um, let's look around in here. I think... Oh, we can't even get in there. We get here. Just look around a little bit. Explore. Rebellion. Anything else? Any... 
other place we can look. Whoa, third level? This is awesome. Can I jump the gap? <laughs> nope, it's blocked. Uh. It's blocked. All right. Well, might as well go to class. I got, I got myself worked up around here. I don't know where to go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, now we're doing it. Revelio. Just looking around a little bit. This is. It's locked as well. Alright, let's go to class. Wait. I want you to come here. Okay, there's nothing. I'll head to class. Well, I won't complain. How nice to see you, my young friend. Wonderful to see you again. Akio. Hmm. I don't know why we were able to interact with that. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Sweet. Let's put it on. So I wonder, oh, that's sweet. I wonder if we can pick up enemies though with that. Mm. Well, let's try it. We'll equip it. Ooh. I like that spell too, the depulsion one. Okay. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh, dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. But terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him.
<laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula, and, <laughs> well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Yeah, I see that. So can we put um, Wingardium Leviosa on? Here we go. <laughs> Throw that on. Levitates and controls control. When Guardian Leviosa is automatically cast on objects summoned to you with Accio. That's cool. Oh, it's for us to try here. When Guardian Leviosa. You're a natural. And I can pull it in whatever direction I want. So I'm gonna go over here. I wanna push it into there. Cool. Alright, that's an awesome spell. I've oh. always said travel broaden the mind. So what quest is it want us this is a main quest? Do we have any side quests that we can do? Just a quick couple side quests. Let me take a look. Before we partake upon this um, new quest. Pop balloons and Hogsmeade Station. Pop balloons around the quid. We could do this one real quick. This would be fun. A little bit of flying. And, and it's, it's a Summoner's Court Match 1. Actually, let's do this. Let's do the Summoner's Court Match 1. Something a little different. Oh, and I think we uh, actually got some talents to burn, maybe? Nope, collection gear. Challenges. Did we get some unlocks? Exploration. And we did. We got a new scarf. So we got that. So we'll clear that. Just clearing a couple things up really quick. Inventory. Got a new telescope. Found some pages here. Okay. And then our collections, we have gotten a lot. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Was that armor? Is that something? That armor there? Let's take a look at it. I'm trying to clear these out. Okay. Let's go to gear. That was like a face thing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to gear. And face wear. Do we have it? What is that? I don't, I don't know where that is. I want to figure it out, though. What are these? I don't know what those are. We got a new outfit. Oh, that's sweet. I like that one. The one we have. Equip this one. That's got better defense here. We'll equip this one. And then we'll just change the appearance again. I kind of like what, what we got running. Oh, that's awful. That's terrible. Terrible. That's the one I was running, which I do like. That's like full Quidditch gear. I don't like how they got the pants pulled up like that. I need some, some red vibe going. Yeah, the pants are like hiked up. It looks so dumb. Let's go with this. I want to go back and I want to see... What the heck is going on with, uh, where is that, that, uh, let's go back into our collections really quick. Sorry. Inventory. What was it under? Collections? Appearances? Yeah, this. A helmet for the bravest killer. 
how do I see that? Legendary armored attire. Cosmetic alterations apply to gear via change appearance option. Okay, we see that, but where is that item? And where is where is this helmet? Let's look again. I don't know where it is. I just backed out. Where the heck is that helmet? Oh, here's the armor. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll put our leather coat back on. Where's our coat? Or no coat. And we had a coat. Where'd the coat go? Here it is. And then but let's find the helmet. Is the helmet under face wear? It's gotta be under face wear, right? Well, I don't see it. Hat, maybe headwear. That's where it is. What a dummy. <laughs> Let's put it on. Oh my gosh. It makes clanging noises when I run. This is awesome. Like, are you kidding me? Revelio. Stand next to him. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Now I'm one of you. <laughs> what the heck? That's so funny. So let's bust this up real quick. We'll do a summoner's match. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of summoner's court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, summoner's court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. All right. Up here. One for the ages. Up here. All in the wrist. Oh, crap. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Up here. Can I get him though? I might be able to beat him right here. Try to beat that. I'm gonna try. I need some. I need some. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Hmm. <laughs> Tie game. At least you didn't beat me. <laughs> so we tied. I should have won. 
I didn't think it would bounce that much. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Oh, yeah. Psh, I'm game for another too. round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. Oh, those things are bouncy. Akio. I just need to make it into here and I'm good. Eh, lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. Right, <laughs> fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Cool.